Mmm, it's an orange juice. What's up, everyone? This is Yarn from Orange Juice. Sparky can be difficult to counter head on, and if left alone, she can decimate your towers. In this video, we'll be showing you a few ways with how to deal against Sparky combos. First and foremost, Zap is the obvious choice. For two elixir, you can stun Sparky, forcing her to recharge for five seconds. Alone, the mini P.E.K.K.A takes three shots to kill Sparky. If you pair the mini P.E.K.K.A with Zap, it can take out Sparky in two hits. Zap paired with a building and a heavy hitter can usually take care of most giant Sparky combos. Freeze will also reset Sparky's charge attack and freeze her. This gives you ample time to engage in combat. Freeze Valkyrie is a deadly combo for a lot of situations. Poison deals similar damage to Fireball and also slows down units by 20%. This means under the influence of Poison, it takes Sparky 6 seconds to charge up. More importantly, Poison can take care of any small units they planted with their Sparky. Ice Wizard is more similar to Poison than it is to Freeze. He slows down units by 35%. When frozen by the Ice Wizard, Sparky's charge attack will take almost a full 7 seconds to charge up. The absolute best and underrated way to counter Sparky is with a rocket. When she's planted behind the tower, you can deal a lot of damage to the arena tower as well as take up the Sparky in one go. When Sparky is planted in the front and she's supported by units like Barbarians, that's a huge positive elixir trade. If Sparky is by herself, the best way to disarm Sparky is by surrounding her with small units. Her attack takes a full 5 seconds to charge up. When you surround the Sparky, she won't be able to take care of all the small units in one shot. Skeletons, Goblins, and Guards are great units to use to surround Sparky. Guards are one of the best units to surround Sparky with since they can absorb their blasts with their shield. Because of this, Dark Prince is great against Sparky as well. Barbarians are also a great unit to surround the Sparky with since they can set you up for a counter push. Sparky can't attack air so minions are great at melting her. When Sparky is supported with Barbarians and Giant, you won't be able to surround the Sparky with small units. You can use Minion Horde if they don't have splash units or arrows in rotation. If they do have splash units or arrows to counter your minions, you'll have to make sure you have other ways of dealing with Sparky. I recommend watching our How to Counter Giant video if you haven't watched it yet. This video will help you with building placement and shows you how to deal with supporting units. A giant is almost always paired up with Sparky. A simple zap will disarm Sparky long enough for the Infernal to melt her away and act as a punching bag to absorb her blast. Against the Roll Giant Sparky combo, you can plant the Infernal Tower earlier because Sparky will push the Roll Giant into range. If you plant your Inferno Tower early, be prepared to deal with smaller units such as Minion Horde since they can easily distract your Inferno Tower. Furnace, Goblin Hut, and Tombstone are relatively low-cost spawners that can distract Sparky Blast and allow you to build up Elixir for defense. You can also use these spawner buildings and pull the giant with a 4-2 plant. If a splash unit is supporting Sparky, you won't be able to surround or use minions but you can still use small units to absorb the Sparky Blast and cycle your deck. Skeletons and Ice Spirits are great for this because they only cost one elixir. If Sparky isn't fully charged, the Ice Spirit will freeze Sparky. This will disarm her for a total of 7 seconds. Make sure you plant them far enough from the splash unit but close enough that the Sparky will target them. Ice Spirit is a very reliable card to do this with, as it can survive 3 shots from an Ice Wizard and 1 shot from a Princess. A Giant is a great unit to tank and spin. You can survive 2 blasts from a Sparky. When there's a Wizard supporting Sparky, this allows you to plant any high DPS cards to take out the Wizard followed by Sparky. Make sure you don't plant your tanking units too close to your crown tower, or else the Sparky Blast will splash your tower as well. You can also use your own Sparky to take out your opponent's incoming Giant Sparky combo. Your Sparky will blast the incoming Giant splashing onto their Sparky in the back. If you need to counter push the other lane, you can position the giant one tile on the other side. Another great tank against Sparky is the giant skeleton. He can attack Sparky and tank one blast from her. Then once he falls, his bomb will explode in 3 seconds, which is faster than Sparky's charge time. The giant skeleton's bomb can take out the Sparky and all the nearby support units. If you know they have a Sparky, you can pressure the other lane and force your opponent to spend elixir. Sometimes you can even predict if they have a Sparky deck. If they run a heavy Zap Bait deck, there's a high likelihood of Sparky appearing on the map. It's potentially a red flag if they send in a Goblin Barrel and alone. Goblin Barrel and Sparky is really deadly because it forces you to zap one of the two. 
Whichever you choose to zap, it won't matter. They'll devastate your tower. My favorite card combo is Zap and Log. Log takes care of all the small units and allows me to reserve my Zap for Sparky. Fire Spirit also works well against the Goblin Barrel if you don't have the Log. If you pressure the opposite lane with units, this forces your opponent to expend Elixir in the other lane to counter it, or risk losing the tower to this light push. Now they won't have Barbarians to protect Sparky in the other lane. Good card combos to do this should be low cost but devastating if left ignored. If you pressure the other lane heavily, be prepared to push hard and have inexpensive solutions to counter the unsupported Sparky. Alternatively, if you have the right cards, you can take on a Sparky combo head-on. I hope you can take the basics from this video and apply them to your deck. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more quality OJ.